Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Rambam, Sefer Hamade Hilchais Yisaidi Atayra. We're in the middle of Ois Zayin, letter number seven here. And we're speaking about the Yichud, the unity, the oneness of the Rebbeinu Shailam. That is how he exists. Something that is difficult for the human mind to grasp. But nevertheless, we have to understand this clearly. HaKadosh Baruch is Echad, he is one. And everything about him is completely unified. And therefore, he's a completely different entity than anything else that we will find in this world. Now, if you want to say that there's more than one God, many gods in this world, so then they would need to have bodies and they would need to have some kind of a shape and form because, says the Rambam, that when you have entities that are similar to each other, so they are nifradim zemizeh, they are separated from one another, only ela b'mo'urin shi'iru ha'gufu z'gviyos, they can only be separated through the circumstances that are going to be associated and affiliated with gufos, with their bodies, u'gviyos, and their forms. So now, if you want to say that HaKadosh Baruch is not one, and that there's many other forces in this world, so then we run into a problem. And that is, in order to identify and to define the different types of godly entities that are here, it must be that there's some kind of a goof, some kind of a body that each one is going to have. Otherwise, how will you see the difference? The Eli Yaitzer, goof, ugvia. Now, if chas v'shalom, God forbid, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the creator of the world, would have a body in some kind of shape and form, that would mean ha'yeloi keitz v'tachlis, he would have an end and he would have certain boundaries and limitations. He would, he would be finite. She e'efshar li'yoiz guf she'en lo'y keitz, because it is impossible to be a body that doesn't have an end. A body cannot live forever. A body cannot exist for all of eternity. The nature of the body, the physical flesh of a person is that eventually it is going to run down and it is going to die and pass from this world and go into the grave and eventually it will disintegrate inside of there. Physical world, the physical body that we know is going to decay and has certain limitations, it cannot go on forever. Now, if you want to say that the Rebbein Nishayim, Chas V'chalila, is going to be subjugated to a goof, to a body, the call says, says, the, says the Rambam, the call sheesh lekeitz v'tachlis, anything that has this limitation, that has some kind of physical end that's going to come to it, yesh lekeitz keitz v'saif, you have to then then say that the body, that the koiches, that the power of such a creator, the power of such a God, the power of our God is also going to be limited. And that we cannot say. Because as we've been learning, the power of the Rebbe is infinite. The abilities of HaKadosh Baruch Hu are never-ending. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's creation of the world and his running of the world and his intimate uh, protection and, and, and connection to every single person in the world. That's something that is infinitely great and it is beyond human comprehension to be able to understand. And therefore says the Rambam, if you'd want to say that there's more than just Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, if you'd want to say that there's other gods that are here, that means that by the very definition of that, you have to stick them all into bodies and physical forms, that would mean then that Rebbeinu Sha'ilam, our God, is going to have limitations. And that is something that we are not willing to say because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is infinite and limitless in His power as the Rambam is going to say tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem. And therefore we have to understand, there is nothing else. When we say the words, Ein Oyed Movadoy, there's nothing else besides Hashem. It means literally this. There is Nothing else besides Hashem. There is no God. There is no power. There is no divinity. There is no foreign gods. There's nothing. It's all the Rebbeinu And when a person begins to understand that 
And they live like that. And they accept that. And they absorb that into their bones, into their flesh, into their heart, into their soul. Then we're living with Hashem Echad, Hashem, the one and the only. Have a wonderful day.